having carefully considered an array of relevant factors, including the free TV license application submitted by the three applicants, the recommendations of the authorities, statutory, regulation, statutory requirements under the broadcasting ordinance, the assessing criteria in the authorities, guidance notes for those interested in applying for domestic free television program service licenses in Hong Kong, the overall sustainability of the free TV market, the consultants' reports on the com competition implications of the new entrance to the local free TV market, market, which include an assessment of the relative competitiveness of each applicant, all relevant documents, all representations and responses, responses submitted by the relevant parties, all the relevant latest developments, all public views received and the government's prevailing broadcasting policy, the chief executive in council has decided it would be in the public's interest to adopt a prudent approach to introduce new operators into the free TV market in a gradual and orderly manner. The, and I'll call this as the gradual and orderly approach. On this basis, the C in council has decided today to grant approval in principle to Fantastic TV and HKTVE's free TV license applications while not precluding the possibility of allowing more free TV operators as and when appropriate. The decision is not only in line with the government's established broadcasting policy to introduce competition and increase program choice and diversity, but at the same time minimizes the risk of any possible adverse impact on the free TV market as a whole. This is the first time in nearly four decades that more competition is introduced in the free TV market. If Fantastic TV and HKTVE is finally granted a free TV license, the decision made today can enable the number of free TV licenses, licensees to double to a total of four. We believe the availability of significantly more programming choices as a result will be welcomed by the Hong Kong people. 